I'm going to show you how to build a custom firmware for the sensor watch project for the Casio F91W wristwatch. And basically you just go to this website right here, which I'll show in the link in the description. And the first thing we want to do is select the board color. Mine's red. And let's build a simple clock. And you can see that it populates uh, over here in the faces. Let me scroll down just a little bit. And then let's uh, do a set time so we can change the time. Uh, let's add a world clock, uh, an alarm. How about a temperature uh, sensor? And what else do we want to do here? Let's do a countdown timer, about a stopwatch. Let's set sunrise and sunset, and maybe a moon phase indicator. And there's a lot of things, as you can see, that you can do here. Uh, so that's what we're going to go with for right now. If I wanted to like fine tune the time to within seconds a year, here's a fine tune setting in a nanosecond, which uh, it compensates for the temperature of the crystal oscillator. Pretty, pretty neat uh, firmware build they have here. So let's build this right now. And you get to an emulator. And what we want to do is we'll set our register and that wants to know where we're at. It, it gets our GPS coordinates or IP location or whatever. So it knows what the sunrise and sunset is and uh, what time zone we're in, that kind of thing. And you simply click the buttons. As you can see, it simulates a backlight. This is the time with the date. Uh, we can set our watch here. This is the world clock. This is a different time zone. You can obviously change this to your liking. Uh, the next screen, that's our alarm. Here's our temperature sensor. Uh, countdown timer. We'll click over here. And obviously you can change the length or the duration of the countdown timer. Here's our stopwatch. Same thing. You click on it and it begins to roll. And this is the sunset. It's at 5.36 p.m. where I'm located. This will always show the next event, the next sunrise, the next sunset. And our moon is in the third quarter. Uh, and it kind of gives a little simulation here what it looks like uh, as best it can on this watch face. So that's it. Uh, once you build this to your liking, and believe me, I played around with this many times, you simply download your firmware, and then I'll show you how to, uh, how to drag that firmware into the watch board itself later.